Hello fellow crafters and welcome back to Max TM Crafting. In this episode guys I went crazy. I just created a bunch of stuff perfect for your dungeon, perfect for a Diablo dungeon guys. I created a pool, couple of them actually, and also a shrine. You remember those stuff that uh, have this uh, flame on top, stuff like that? If you don't, look at that. I created a pool inspired by this, another one inspired by this that can also become a bloody pool for your health points. And then I created a mana shrine. So what can I say? Stay a while and listen! Let's start with the creation of a small sacred pool. This will have to be a small piece to add uh, to your dungeon. The measurements will have to be contained in a 2 by 3 inches style. As you can see here, I am creating a template to be able to give the right shape to my small pool. For the curved parts, you can use any round object of the right sides or, more simply, a compass. Once the base was created, I created a second element, slightly smaller, to give the pool greater elevation and add two small steps that will improve the overall appearance. Once cut, I used the two templates on my proxon and uh, here's what I got. I tried to create the edge of the pool at its best. It is a very small piece, guys. Only after waiting for it to dry, I finished the edges, removing the parts that were too sharp and the residues of PVA glue. I've also removed fragments here and there for an aging effect. No piece so small would have a decent effect with resin without painting the water on the bottom. After a rather basic coloring, I waited for everything to dry before pouring the transparent epoxy resin. Parts A and B are always in a proportion of uh, 100 to 60.
while the resin was slowly solidifying, I completed the coloring. Now the resin is dense enough to prevent any leaking. A little flocking and the first piece is done. Three more pieces to go. Let's go back to our proxon to create an element that is really typical of Diablo, the colonnade. These elements not only characterize entire areas inside the dungeon, but are also excellent embellishment outside and can be used to make a palace the entrance to a castle very important. See how easy it is to create a beautiful colonnade using the template from shiftinglands.com. If you want to better see how I use this accessory, take a look at my video on the stairs of Diablo Dungeon. Now an accessory I created years ago, before discovering it was already being sold by Shifting Lens. This is a circle cutter. I created this powerful double layer cardboard accessory and uh, its operation is quite simple. I fixed a small nail in the center of a grid and uh, as you can see I helped myself to stabilize it thanks to a balsa wood stick that fits perfectly into the groove of the proxen. For the creation of the next fountain we use my own circle cutter. The disadvantage of having created it myself is that it is uh, sometimes a little unstable and uh, you have to hold him firmly with your hands to prevent the circles, especially the small ones, from being inaccurate. With a little practice, however, you will see how simple it is to produce pieces that are perfect for our purpose. Although it is very easy to reproduce, I still recommend taking a look at the original product. It offers stability and precision and I myself think that sooner or later I will buy an original one.
Now we have uh, all the pieces we need. I assemble them off center for a less mundane and banal look and use one of my fantasy chessboard pawns as a statue, perfect for this fountain. The brickwork is engraved with my pen and uh, will be a key part of the final look. Once everything is fixed, obviously make sure you have sealed the part that we left to collect the transparent resin. We are ready to color the pieces created so far. Try not to be trivial and uh, add different shades in addition to the usual gray. I make great use of brown and green, which after the dry brush give a lot of depth to the texture of the piece. Flocking, in addition to embellishing the piece, offers the possibility to cover in small inaccuracies. Learn to use it in your favor. Again the resin, this time we add a couple of drops of blue wash, it will complement the depth of the water, combined with the mottled light green with which I painted the bottom. I love having realistic fountains in my dungeons. That's why I put a transparent resin, to which we will also add some splendid water effects. To be faithful to Diablo's style, however, it is necessary that there is blood in this pool. Here's how I solved it. With a cardboard the same size as my pool, I created an identical but red texture. With the color still wet, I use the effects of water to give movement, thickness and resistance to this small accessory. I only created a blood red add-on for life points, but Diablo fans will also remember the blue ones which returned mana points. Just follow the same procedure, this time using blue. I use the same water effects on the dry resin. You will see what a spectacular result.
Now a slightly special piece, a mana shrine. I use wooden marbles in which I have fixed some pins and with the hot glue I go to model flames, as you can see here. Unfortunately, I'm not a master at painting with an airbrush, but uh, the shades obtained will be fine. You can attach this accessory to any statue. Now, let's take a look at the final results. Okay guys, this is it for today, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you like this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe this channel, this community is growing guys and it's up to you, help MaxDM Crafting grow and do better and better. You can support MaxDM Crafting through Patreon or Paypal, follow the links in the description box below and if you buy something on those links that are in the description box, those are affiliated links by Amazon, if you buy through those links nothing will change for you guys, I will just receive a little percentage on your purchase. Till next time, the sanctity of this place has been found.